Hello, welcome back to my Accounting 1120 discussion on partnership accounting. I promise this one will be shorter. I have a goal. Big surprise there, huh? My goal is to look at the closing entries for net income and withdrawals of the partnership and to use that information to make a statement of changes in partner's equity. I don't need to show you how to split income anymore. I'm just going to give you some numbers, assuming that's all been done. And we'll make the closing entries, and then we'll see how statement of changes in partner's equity would look. Here's the facts. We have net income of $100,000. We're going to split $60,000 to partner A and $40,000 to partner B without really going into how that was split and that we have balances in the withdrawals or drawings accounts, 10000 for partner A and 8000 for partner B, and that the beginning balances for the two partners was 100000 and 200000 respectively. So first thing we want to do is make an entry to close income summary. So we were going to close net income. So we're going to make an entry to close income summary. Income summary would have a credit balance because it's income. So we're going to debit income summary for income was 100000 So we'll debit it for 100000 and we'll split it between our two partners. Capital A gets 60000 and capital partner B gets 40000 I'm not going to practice splitting income anymore. We've done that. So we made entry to close net income. Now we need to make an entry to close the draws accounts or the withdrawals. You can write it any way you want. I don't like the word withdrawals for some reason. If you recall, draws accounts have 10,000 or have debit balances. And so we'll credit them. So we're going to reduce the capital account, partner A, by the amount of money they've had withheld or that they've withdrawn, and the capital account for partner B by the money that they've withdrawn. And we'll close the draws account for partner A. It's kept separately from the draws account for partner B. Everybody needs to track of how much money they've taken. We'll take our information from the second line. Partner A withdrew 10000 so we'll drop his capital account by that, and we'll close his drawing account for that. And partner B had an $8,000 balance in their withdrawals account, so we'll drop their capital account and close that account. We've now closed net income, which was an income summary, and we've closed the withdrawals account. We're ready to make the statement of changes and partner's equity. Hold on. I'm getting a while now. I'm starting to abbreviate on you. You have the name of the business and the fact that it's a statement of changes in partner's equity and then it would be for the period of time covered. And look how close this is to a regular owner's equity statement. You have um, the beginning balance. And you add into that any capital investments they've made. Our partners haven't made any. And any net income that is accruing to them. Uh-oh, hold on. Okay, that was too bizarre. I answered my phone and there was a recording. And it said, goodbye. <laughs> Go away. All right, where were we? We have our statement of changes in partners' equity. The beginning balance. In our information, we said the third row, our first partner had 100000 And our second partner had, where are we? Ah, there we go, right here, 200000 So those are our beginning balances. And it goes up for investments. Neither of our partners made any this time. And it goes up for net income. Partner A had $60,000 worth of net income, so we'll add that into theirs. And Partner B had $40,000 worth of net income, so we'll add that into theirs. This means right now, 
that there's 160,000 in our capital account for A and 240,000 in our capital account for B. <clears throat> now we need to reduce it for drops. Capital goes down 10,000 for A because he has withdrawn $10,000 worth of assets from the business, just like an owner can do, and capital B will go down for A. And again, you keep all of it in a separate capital account because you don't want credit for someone else's withdrawals. You just want credit for yours. Then you have your ending balance. 160 minus 10 is 150,000 be our ending balance for capital A and 232 capital account B. And the sum of these two would be shown on the balance sheet as total partners equity. Well, we've accomplished our goal. We looked at closing entries for net income in the withdrawals accounts, and then we made a statement of changes in partners equity from facts. This one is short enough to make up for the last one being too long. Thanks for joining me. Bye for now.